Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Anthology as we finish with the uh, Russian single missions today. So we're going to uh, gonna jump out over to uh, Mission 10, Alarm Clock. Alarm Clock, Kraskina Air Base, date June 26, local time 0645 hours, weather clear. Mission objective, Chinese aircraft have been detected heading towards your air base. Scramble and destroy the incoming fighters. Threat suppression data, ground opposition, none, air opposition, possible J7s, Q5s, FSXs, and SC-27s. So, uh, curious, of curious note here is that we are actually Russian in this mission, so we will be taking a Russian aircraft, namely the Su-35, as that's probably the closest thing they have to, uh, F-22. So... And we're experts, so that means we got full pips on our wingmen. Uh, as far as this loadout looks good, I've debated taking the Amos, but it's it's lighter, but it is semi-active homing. I don't know. I don't know what range we're going to be engaging here. That's really the big thing. Because uh, if we're at shorter ranges, I would probably take adders and backfires. But if we're at longer range, then yeah, I can do uh, you know two anti a. You know what? Alright, I talked myself into it. One Amos, as we can launch two of these guys, because these are active radar, I believe. Uh, yeah, they're active radar, so I can launch two of those, and then I can launch this guy and keep lock on him, and then once that hits or miss, then I'll probably be in range for the adder, so. That's what we're going to go with. We're going to go with a full fuel load, um, which actually, that's pretty similar to the F-22's fuel load. No, so that's an interesting design change for a Russian aircraft, since uh, as we've seen they tend to have uh, a lot smaller fuel capacities. The only exception really is their um, MiG-25 and MiG-31 I believe have a lot of fuel so they can cover Siberia but and also feed those afterburners, but yeah, so uh, eh, you know what, let's, let's take it down to 90%. Uh, we probably won't need all of it, so that should lighten us a little bit. And we'll get really light once we get these three missiles off the rack. So, with that, let's get started. Alright, so right around, Jammer's on. Let's see who we're dealing with here. Let's actually turn it right on, too. J7 is so clear right now. That's the airfield. FSX. Okay, we didn't go for it. Looks like we already have some interceptors heading out. So I'm not too worried about those guys. Uh, what I am worried about is. Ooh, we got a bunch of Q5s, so these are the real threat here. Although, I suppose, like, eh, let's lighten our load a bit. And actually, I did change my mind, and I went back to the, uh, the anti-AWACS missiles. Just because I remembered that that AMOS just doesn't seem to work proper. Oh, let's see. The AMOS doesn't seem to work properly. I don't know what it's min and max range are, but, uh, it, uh, it doesn't like having a hit percentage more than zero. Like, it'll lock on, kind of, but not really. So, I don't know what's up with that. Oh, they have a huge group here. Yeah. Alright, let's, uh, We're going to be tossing these guys out left and right. And we got, it looks like, two J7s on our tail. Let's see what that's all about. Okay, guys, you can stop with the missiles. I get it, you're not happy. Oh, all the Q5s are on me now, so... It looks like none of our adders worked. Quick. 
And I'm gonna try to lead him in towards my wingman. There we go. Now we got some separation. We'll have, uh... Holy shit! Look at all those missiles. Out of flares. And our hydraulic systems are damaged, so hopefully our wingmen can uh, take care of these guys soon. Because for some reason, our plane just doesn't feel that great in a dogfight. But how are we leaking? Okay, so we got maybe a minute. Yeah, now they're slaughtering them, actually, but. Still coming in for us though. Not anymore. Here's Bandit 6 o'clock. 9 o'clock. 7 o'clock. There he is. Definitely starting to become a little more sluggish now. <laughs> Alright, so now we are going to go home. And, uh,. Well, basically, actually, let's go to the landing waypoint. Yeah, that should about do it. Oh, hey, we, we actually still have hydraulic fluid. It, yeah, it doesn't control them. We may as well not have it, so we're just going to do a uh, admission here. Alright, so we took a bit of damage. I'm surprised at how... I expected more of it, of the flanker in close combat, uh, the Su-35, but I still get the feeling the Chinese, or the AI cheats with these, uh, with the J-7s and the Q-5s, but whatever. In any case, debrief, crash in the airbase, date June 26th, mission alarm clock, resolution success, congratulations, you prevented the enemy strike force from seriously damaging crash in uh, we destroyed the five, the 15 targets. Oh, wow. That was actually a decent amount. We got 48% uh, damage on us, and they knocked out our hydraulics. Um, we took no so damage. We had six kills, though. So we did do a decent amount. Our next biggest killer was our wingman with five. So us and wingman one accounted for, like, two-thirds of the enemy aircraft. Uh, I imagine, um, I think there were some American F-16s that helped a bit too, and then we, uh, had Wingman 2 as well, who probably did some work. Yeah, only a 55% hit rate, a third were spoofed, 8% gun hit, that's kind of low, but we were taking a lot of pot shots at the end of that last guy just to get him dealt with. Um, 21 missile launches on us, of which one hit, and then they hit us a little bit for her gun damage, which, yeah. Considering how much they've shot at us, we really came out pretty damn well, all things considered, I think. So with that, that concludes the Russian campaign single mission. So uh, next week, look forward at, to uh, the start of a, the new campaign, the final campaign, when we do the Baltics in 2009. So with that, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time, and we'll see you then.